Here on ABC 15 now, remind you to be careful what you post on Facebook. It just might be used against you. An Arkansas man knows this all too well. An appeals court has ruled photos on Facebook and MySpace showing Zachary Clement drinking and partying can be used as evidence to deny further workers' compensation claims. Clement suffered a hernia back in March of 2009 when a refrigerator fell on him at work. He was uh, compensated for medical expenses. He even received temporary total disability benefits for more than a year. Well, Clement was seeking an extension of those benefits when all of this came about. His legal team argues the photos are unrelated to medical treatment and irrelevant since having a hernia wouldn't prevent someone from drinking. What do you think? Is this an abuse of discretion on behalf of the court, or do you feel the party pictures are relevant in this case? And we have Robert Steve, editor of Arizona Highways Magazine, here to weigh in on this topic. <laughs> My first thought was, was that refrigerator that fell on him, was it filled with beer? And then that's what caused this whole thing in the first place. But I think your point, Susan, is really the most important lesson here is watch out what you, nothing's private on the mm -hmm. internet, even though you have to choose who your friends are. In this case, I mean, it, this specific case, if it's a hernia and drinking and what have you, maybe you can drink with a hernia. I don't know. I've never been there. But there are a lot of issues where you could get yourself into trouble. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're claiming with a workman's comp, claim that you can't walk and all of a sudden you've got photos of you dancing at a, at a club in Scottsdale, I think it, it could become an issue and I think nothing is private so mm -hmm. you, you need to watch it. I think if we had pictures of him lifting TVs into his car mm -hmm. or running up some mountain hiking and whatnot, I think definitely there would be uh, some cause of cause for concern here because really, I, but I've never had a hernia. I don't know what it well, does to I, you. Well, according to him and this and this and report, he's, he's, said he's, a, it's in the, he's in excruciating pain. However, drinking, according to him, <laughs> does not have any effect on the pain. It's still there, whether he's partying, drinking, or sitting at home. The question becomes, these private eyes, these investigators at these insurance companies hire to see if, in fact, you're mm -hmm. having a legitimate uh, reason for being home. That's where he gets into some trouble. Yeah, and the bottom line, he wasn't very smart to post those right. photos in the first place. Yeah, I these think. weren't privatized. Whether, the, whether yeah. the courts can use them down the road, time will tell, but uh, he didn't use his thinking cap that No, time. privatized co-workers, you never know. Yeah. It is important to have integrity, though. If, if you're sick and you're, or you're legitimately yeah. hurt, of course, but you know, if you're just trying to get that extra year of, of workers' compensation. Yeah. So many people agree with you, Rebecca, on Facebook. Uh, Miranda, she writes this. His benefits should be denied through a medical board and physical exam, not a photo. However, I do hate to see these benefits abused, and they are often. Socorro Martinez, seems to me if the man can drink and party, then he can work. Well, Becky Moran disagrees. She says drinking beer at a party has nothing to do with a hernia. There must be. Be more to the story. Mm -hmm. Billy's Diney says if he's healthy, he needs to man up. If not drinking a beer and being a, at a party shouldn't change his claim. All right, well, next on ABC 15.